Hey what's up guys, this is sky 495 here with another bike product review video. This is the Iberos Pack Rack Clip-On All-Weather Bike Panniers. So I picked these up after my bike was actually stolen earlier this year. They took everything, including my previous panniers, so I had to go out and buy a new one. So I was doing a lot of research trying to find a good replacement, and I came across these. So they come in a set of two, and total cost is around $80, so basically you're paying $40 each. The volume of each of these is 15 liters, so they're kind of on the medium to small side. So it is already made out of this very water resistant nylon material, but it also comes with rain covers for them if you really needed it. Personally, I have ridden these in the rain and even in downpour and in snowy weathers, and I never really had to use the rain cover, but it's nice that they include it anyways. And now to give you a detailed overview of these panniers, so here up in the front, you have a mini compartment where I usually keep my smaller items, including that rain cover, also a seat cover, as well as some bungee cords to strap stuff to my rear rack. And even with all those things, I still have plenty of space for other stuff. Then for the main compartment, this is not zippered, it has this drawstring enclosure instead, and as well as a buckle on either side. This is the larger compartment, so I keep things like my lunch bag, as well as my gym bag when I'm going to work out. And of course my U-lock and cable, so my bike hopefully won't get stolen again. And I'm able to fit all these in just one pannier, so uh, even though it doesn't seem like it's very large, there are definitely larger ones, but I think it's pretty sufficient for most people, especially when you have two of them. On the product listing, it says that it can hold up to 20 pounds, and I don't usually hold that much stuff in my panniers, but I definitely have done it before, and it seems to hold up fine. It also comes with these plastic hard inserts that you put on the bottom, these are to prevent any sharp potential objects that could poke a hole through the bag on the bottom, but I kind of prefer that they were actually built into the bag themselves. It seems kind of like a lazy way to put a reinforcement, honestly. Then on the outside, they have this triangle reflector on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which side you put the bag on, both sides will be covered with a reflector. Then flipping it over to the back side, you see the mounting system. So it is, as the name implies, a clip-on bag. So it's meant to be easily to put onto your rear rack and also easily removed. So you just go ahead and push this orange tab here to mount it. And then you can do the reverse motion to unmount it. It also has a handle with a reinforced plastic part here so you can easily carry it with you say when you're going to class and you obviously don't want to get these stolen since they are so easily removable. However, one thing definitely to note is that this extra piece down here in the middle will not always be compatible with the rack, depending on which one you have. This one is designed for their personal brand, Ibera's rear rack, but of course mine's here is not that brand, it's Transit. So mine's actually didn't fit initially with how it was originally oriented, and it doesn't come with a hex wrench for you to adjust it, so I had to use my own bike tool to loosen it and turn it the way I needed to so it would be compatible with my rear rack. So using these day in and day out because I commute by bike as a college student, it's great that I can put other stuff besides my regular textbooks or whatever that I carry on my back usually in these bags to help alleviate any extra weight. I'm definitely a huge proponent to panniers as opposed to baskets that you can technically strap onto your rear rack or to the front that you can attach and other mounting options, but panniers really give you that flexibility to expand and also be not so heavy and bulky and be non-aerodynamic when you're riding. So I was almost about to give these a 4.5 out of 5 stars, but I saw the wear and tear that's happened on these and I don't really carry a lot of load, so I don't really think that this should have happened within less than a year. So this part here on the bottom is basically, I think it's a design flaw because it kind of protrudes a little bit so it will get caught on the bottom of my rear rack whenever I try to uh, remove it. So after doing that several times, that's what happens over here. And also I noticed on my rear rack, it's not a huge deal and I'm not super picky about this, but I did notice that the clip-on design causes a little bit of wear on the actual rack itself. Then also this part right here also has a hole now because the back lining is just this sharp edged plastic. I definitely think they could have smoothed it out. I think it was it's not a terribly made product, but I think there's just some elements in like the corners and edges that made certain areas much more high wear than others. 
So these definitely aren't the most durable panniers out there, but at this price, I think it's still pretty reasonable. The one I had previously was like $90 and it was just one 35 liter size. So for this, you get 30 liters combination and you get pretty much the same features as you would with any other pannier. And I really like how waterproof these are. The clip-on design is pretty ingenious and it's pretty effective. But just be aware that you definitely don't want to really leave these on your bike for prolonged periods of time because thieves can easily just pick it up and go. So if you're in the market for a $40 pannier, I wouldn't look any further than these. I think they're pretty darn good for the money. As usual, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, Skyforce95, if you haven't already, to get more content like this. Or if you're watching this on Amazon, head over to my channel URL right here, or just search it up on YouTube, Skyforce95. There you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings. Feel free to browse. Or if you want to search for something specific, just hit that search field. That'll do it for this video. This is Skyforce95. Thanks for watching.